Hi guys, sad day. Oliver is now at his his aunt's house. No, um, he's staying with a friend here in Palm Springs. I'm gonna be back in no time, so I'll come get him. But I just got back to the house. And I'm like, mm, he's not here, and Monica's flying back to Seattle. Anyway, I'm gonna get my stuff together, shower, and head back to LA. I'm packing up my stuff to head back to LA. I am going back for another appointment. I feel like that's why I always end up going back. Um, this is a post-op appointment. It feels unnecessary at this point because I feel like almost completely healed, but I get it. They gotta make sure everything's good. It does still all feel a little like weirdly stiff. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm not going to LA for long. I'll be back here like really soon and the concrete will be done and it's actually really good that Monica and I are both leaving because they're pouring the concrete into the front door so we wouldn't be able to like leave the house for like at least for a full day or two so it's kind of better that we're both gone for that just charging up my car before I head back um I actually got a charger installed at the house but I need to order this little adapter thing so that I can actually use it because my cord it doesn't have the right kind of plug but that'll be super nice because I'll never need to come to the supercharger anymore um and then also Airbnb guests can use it I'm gonna get some Starbucks I did not sleep well it would I I had the worst sleep I've had in a long time I don't know why I do know why actually my nose gets so dry and then I can't really breathe through it and I can't sleep and it's not that interesting all right let's get Starbucks this is a good reminder I should really order that attachment like right now Okay, so you guys may remember I was talking about potentially doing a Skillshare course or something like that, and I've outlined one. I think that would do really well. So I'm just gonna get started with it, not make it too long, just try and make something um, and see how it does because you can always make more later if it does well and if it flops, whatever. Um, but I think it could be cool, so I'm gonna get started on it. Hi guys, it is Friday. I've been doing a really bad job vlogging today because I'm so tired for some reason. I'm just like, who out of it today? I think I'm gonna get a little more coffee, but kind of an off day for me. Um, also, okay, I was reading the comments of the last vlog and I've gotten so many comments about why we had to fill the pool again. So I'll just explain that because we did empty the pool, had it refilled, and then had to empty it again. And let me tell you, I was just as surprised as a lot of you guys are. I thought when we were refilling it last time, that was it and that was gonna be the pool water for the next year or however long you're supposed to have pool water before switching it out. I think it's like a year, but would have to check. So I did not intend on emptying it, filling it for like two weeks, just to empty it again. It just seems like such a waste of water. So when we had to empty it again, I was like, are, are you serious? Like, what do you mean we have to empty it again? Um, so basically they had to empty it the first time because they were knocking down those trees and it got super, super dirty. And then they filled it. And um, after they filled it, we realized a lot of that coping around the pool had been cracked and it was super old and the style of it was really not, not modern at all. Um, and so we decided that we wanted to change the pool coping and we hadn't even talked about that with the landscaping people before I assumed we were just gonna keep it like I fully thought whatever we'll just keep the coping and get new concrete and then once we all started got started talking about it we're like wait we actually need to get rid of this coping it's old it's chipping and it doesn't look good and it's not gonna last that much longer anyway it's really you know it's sort of now or never like it's better to do this now while we do all of the concrete so um i wish we would have just decided that a few weeks ago but honestly i just didn't even know that that was something that was going to come up it really was just something that we like realized later on and and hopefully like if anyone is watching this and you're renovating a backyard it would be better to just do that at the same time so you don't have to empty the pool again they did have to empty it again because to redo the pool coping uh, it, it's super messy like some of it actually like fell into the pool and they had to redo it <laughs> so there's no way you can just do that while 
there's water in the pool like they had to build this kind of apparatus so that they could stand high enough to do the pool coping so really the reason that we had to empty it again was to do the pool coping just to do regular concrete you wouldn't really have to empty the pool but because they were getting that concrete right up to the side they had to empty it and yeah just such a waste of water fortunately the water in the desert is not very expensive surprisingly it was about 90 dollars to fill it so it's not really too big of a deal in terms of finances but it just god it's such a waste and hopefully you can learn from this like it, it would have just been better just do that all at once as quick as possible um and you're actually we learned you're actually not supposed to leave a pool unfilled for too long because of the way that the pressure works the pool can like pop out which is so crazy i never knew that was a thing so that's why they did fill it for at least a couple of weeks it was it was to make sure that the pool wouldn't be damaged but if i were to go back in time and redo everything i would just try and have them quickly do the pool coping right after all of that stuff just try and move it along a little faster so we wouldn't have to refill it and empty it because obviously huge waste of water um i guess it was like a rookie mistake i had no idea that was something that was going to happen and um i don't know these things i think you just learn as you renovate a property like obviously we're not going to know everything and it's not like the end of the world hi guys i did not really vlog while i was in la so we're skipping going back to palm springs but i figure that's kind of what you guys want to see anyway the house that's what i want to see i'm dying to see the concrete it should be way more finished now i don't know if it's completely finished but i'm so excited to see it in person so let's head back and see cow of course okay i didn't even really unpack when i got here so it was very easy to just get going basically i'm trying to beat the furniture delivery person there because because the bed for the biggest bedroom is finally getting here today. So that's gonna be awesome. I'll probably try and set it up, but I also need to work on a video. I love that it's so cloudy in LA, but now I've finally driven into the sun. Oh, yes, love Palm Springs. Okay, I just got to the house. I'm gonna go look at the concrete, clean a bit, and go pick up the cowboy. Oh my gosh, okay, I can see grass. Wow, wow. Oh my gosh, no more dirt. Okay. Okay, so it's actually the next morning. I was editing this vlog and I realized I didn't show the concrete that well. So I'll give you guys another look. So if you notice a slight change in the lighting, it's a little cloudy right now. That is why. I also probably sound like I just woke up. But yeah, as you can see, we've got the concrete going in here now. So we've got a little bit of grass in between. I actually thought we were gonna do like some white pebbles. Um, might switch that out. But super nice to have this walkway here so we can do laundry and not have dirt going into the house. And then there's a little bit going in here. This is gonna be some like decomposed granite type of stuff and the glass will be enclosed. Um, but yeah, it's really cool as you walk in. Obviously, we're not gonna leave this as dirt. We're gonna have, I think, decomposed granite there. But you can see the main area, how it's looking. I mean, they got pretty much all of it done with the turf. Um, I haven't talked to the landscaping guy yet, so I don't know if they're like totally done with it. I think they might need to like even out certain areas, um, but this is pretty much how it looks. So we ended up doing a bunch of nine foot by eight foot rectangles and then having them cut it through the middle to prevent cracking. And I think that turned out really nice. If it had been a bunch of small squares with grass in between, it would just look a little too busy, like tile or something. But I think it's so cool. I think it'll look so lush when the ficus grows in too this is going to be a little decomposed granite area but yeah this is it pool's getting refilled this area we decided to not do the grass just because it was more expensive to do grass over here and you don't really notice it anyway so we'll walk around over here i think this was a really good size for the concrete because we could fit two chase lounges on each little pad of concrete and then walking over here, we also have a concrete walkway. They saved a space for an outdoor shower and then this is the drain for the outdoor shower. And then 
concrete going over to that slider and then one concrete step here and then this is where the hot tub is gonna go so they put a concrete pad down there so this area is almost ready for a hot tub we just have to get um, something done to the electrical panel but the nice thing is the electrical panel is right here um, so it's not like you have to run something really far for the hot tub but yeah we can at least get one in place and the electrical thing won't even take too long over here we didn't do concrete just I felt like it would be a little too much it already feels like a lot already like I don't know if we needed it all the way over there um, but yeah over here is gonna be decomposed granite and a fire pit so the yellow thing is the gas line um, and then we also had them run a little extra like electrical PVC pipe wire in case we ever need it in the future. We don't have to dig up the concrete, but yeah This is pretty much how it looks. I know it probably feels like a lot of concrete right now Like wow, that's a lot of concrete. I wish looking at it. There's just more Grass, but I think when the pool is completely filled and the ficus grows taller It's gonna feel a lot more lush and once we have all the chase lounges out and the dining set it's gonna be like filled in right now since there's nothing here except concrete it just feels like a lot of concrete but um yeah i could build the dining set today actually okay so that's the backyard update okay guys the concrete oh my god it's so nice having that there especially in the entryway area there's still this big tarp thing here, so you can't really see it. I think when the pool is filled, it will have the full effect where it feels like, oh my gosh, this is like a little resort back here. Because it's empty right now, I'm not getting the full effect. And when the ficus grows taller, oh my gosh, it's gonna be amazing. So I have not heard from article about my delivery today, but I'm pretty sure a bed is supposed to come today. I'm just gonna kind of get things cleaned up in here and go pick up Oliver in a second. Okay, I'm finally getting Cow. Oh, I'm so excited to see him. Yeah, let's go. Oliver, hey. 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 <laughs> Monica told me to send a video. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> are you excited or are you mad at me? Cal and I are back home. I just made a little food and ordered groceries online to save a bit of time. I need to start working on this video, but also clean. I feel like I'm always having to clean and vacuum and stuff here for whatever reason. Um, but it's like, it's really hard to make a video in a messy area. It just like, you spend, it's loud, <laughs> you spend time having to, you have to stop and like make sure the background looks nice. So better to just get the cleaning done first. Oh, today's just such a Monday. It just feels like such a Monday. I feel like I had a fun weekend and now I'm just like, oh, I'm just struggling to get the motivation because I don't know, I just did not get a super great night of sleep. Um, I feel behind on things and like, just not good. I'm just not feeling so good today. Like obviously I'm really excited about the concrete and everything, but I just, I don't know, I'm in a weird mood. I'm in like a funk today. Sometimes I feel like that just happens and you kind of have to like accept that it's a weird day mood wise and it's just temporary like tomorrow I'll probably feel better. The article just said they're 10 to 15 minutes away so yay! I'm excited um, to get that together. I'm super eager to get the bed set up so I think I'm just gonna start doing that but I first need to put down the rug in that room so it's actually outside like in some dirt. I'm gonna put a different shirt on because I know it's gonna get gross. <sighs> it's about to feel so cozy in this room. Are you excited, Cal? Are you excited? We now have concrete up over here. So I can just bring it in this way. I don't even have to like go around the house because um, it's out there. So let's go get the rug. Okay, so here is the rug. As you can see, it's kind of like a shag rug. Um, a lot of houses do that here. And it actually is really comfy. Hi, buddy. So I guess I'm just gonna tilt the mattress up so I can get the rug down. And then I also bought a rug pad. Okay, the bed should be here like 
any second. So then once I have stuff down, I'll set it up. Article stuff is super easy to set up. It's not like building Ikea furniture at all. So I feel like I'll be able to do it myself. Um, at least hopefully. It is a king size bed. So I might need to wait for another person maybe, but we'll see. I was gonna like not show you guys any of the stuff and have it be a total surprise for my main channel, but it's just, I can't help it. It's so fun. Um, once I get something, I just wanna show you guys. And also the main channel video, I'm gonna edit it and make it really cool. So I think it will still be fun to watch even if you already know what the stuff is. Okay, so this is the king bed. It has built-in nightstands. I feel like I should be able to slide this into the room. Um, I was kind of afraid it would be like one giant box, but since it's several smaller ones, this will be much easier for me to manage on my own. Oliver is freaking out. He does not like delivering people at all. You hate them, I know. But hey, look, it's all good. Everyone's fine. <laughs> He's just like, needs to scan the area. Here's the concrete. Weird, I just had deja vu, but okay. I'm now gonna try and set up this bed. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I just put the rug pad down and you can see just how big this rug is. I was afraid it might be a little small. I didn't actually measure it because again, I couldn't find the measuring tape, but I looked up the standard rug size that you put under a king bed. So I figured that this would work. I think it's eight by 10. So it's like eight this way and 10 feet that way. So it's pretty long, which I love because it will just feel more cozy in here with a little more like carpet. So yeah, let's roll it out. Oh. Testing my strength right now. Oh gosh. Wow. All right, so this rug, it's from this brand, Safa Ve, whatever. Um, it's pretty light colored, which does make me a little nervous for Airbnb because, you know, anything that's like a light color can get kind of spilled on. I do think it should be you know, a little better that it's in this bedroom though, not like in the living room. People are typically not like eating in a bedroom. Um, usually, I never do at least. <laughs> so I think it should be okay. I'm like out of breath right now. But even if not, this was $300, which for a rug is really not too bad. I think it'll be fine, but like, I'm just thinking if it does get majorly messed up from Airbnb, it's not like it was like a thousand dollar rug or anything like that. We've actually gotten all the rugs pretty inexpensive. Rugs are, rugs can be so expensive, but yeah, we found some more inexpensive ones just cause I don't really know what's gonna happen to them. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, here's a first look at the headboard. Tasha's here, she's helping me put this together and Oliver approves of the rug, so very happy about that. Okay, we're building this. It says it'll take about an hour. Oliver's helping. Just kidding, but he likes the bug. All right, we got the headboard portion together. Now the nightstands. I wonder if this is the height of it. All the mid-century modern furniture is so low, and I wasn't used to it at first, but once it's all together, it's nice. But the, I feel like it fits perfectly in this space. It takes up almost the whole, whole wall, but it's not too big, which was kind of tricky to figure out. Okay, update, we're getting somewhere, but we're definitely probably slower than the average. You know, it's all good. The bed is almost done. We're just putting the slats together and putting it in. But check it out, you can see how it's looking. Okay, we did it. Here's the bed. We didn't build the nightstands yet though because honestly like this was enough for today. And then I also just got the wallpaper in the mail. So let's take a look. Okay, so here's a look at the wallpaper. Didn't know they would put this little thing here. I guess you have to cut it so it evenly 
yeah but it'll be cool on the wall